The electricity sector in Bolivia is dominated by the state-owned Enda Corporation Empresa Nacional de Electricidad, although the private Bolivian power company Compañía Boliviana de Energía Eléctrica, CABI, is also a major producer of electricity. Enda had been unbundled into generation, transmission and distribution and privatized in the 1990s, but most of the sector was re-nationalized in 2010 generation and 2012 transmission and distribution. The supply is dominated by thermal generation 65%, while hydropower 35% has a smaller share in its generation mix compared to other South American countries, Latin America and the Caribbean, or lack. Average hydropower capacity is 51%. In 2014, national electricity supply of 1580, 35 megawatts comfortably exceeded the 1298, 2 megawatts maximum demand. Like in other countries, Bolivia's electricity sector consists of a national interconnected system and off-grid systems known as the Ashlado. The national government's priorities for the electricity sector include providing universal access to electricity and producing surplus energy for export. The electricity coverage in rural areas is among the lowest in Latin America and improving it represents a major challenge in the future. The government envisions a major expansion of electricity generation capacity to over 8,000 MW over the decade from 2015 to 2025, primarily to export surplus generating capacity. Topic. Electricity supply and demand Topic. Installed capacity In Bolivia, the National Interconnected System connects major population centers and represents 83% of the installed capacity. The SIN provides electricity to the largest cities and operates in the departments of Cochabamba, Santa Cruz, Oruro, Potosi and Chuquisaca. Its grid extends over 1,200 miles and covers the central and southern parts of the country. The population in the northern and western parts of the country remains largely unconnected to the national grid, either served by the off-grid system the Ashlado, or having no access to electricity at all. The off-grid system consists of numerous self-producers and independent power plants in rural or isolated areas. Total installed capacity in 2006 was 1.43 gigawatts, of which 60% was thermal production, which primarily burns natural gas, and 40% hydroelectric. The contribution of other renewables is almost negligible. Total electricity production in the same year amounted to 5.29 terawatt-hours. This figure does not include electricity produced in rural areas from biomass facilities, which are unorganized, decentralized, and difficult to quantify. Bolivia's electricity export and import activities are fairly limited. Imports from Brazil amount to less than 0.01 terawatt hours per year and have so far been devoted to supply the city of Puerto Suarez, in the department of Santa Cruz. Topic. Demand Electric power consumption per capita in 2006 was 588 kWh a 19% increase since 1996. By sector, residential consumption represents 40% of the total, followed by industrial consumption with 28%. Demand and supply projection According to the demand projections prepared by the Superintendencia de Electricidad SE, the generation capacity reserve will be insufficient by 2009 as it will fall below the recommended 10% if no new capacity is developed. Topic. Access to electricity In 2005, total access to electricity in Bolivia was 67%, one of the lowest in Latin America. Urban access was 87%, while rural access remained as low as 30%. See recent developments for more information on electrification plans. 
Topic: Interruption frequency and duration. Service quality as measured by interruptions was much better than the LAC average in 2005. In the period November 2004 to October 2005 there were a total of 141 transmission interruptions up from 86 in the previous period, with a total duration of 4,274 minutes. 57% of the interruptions were due to weather conditions and, while 17% derived from facility operations. In 2005, the average duration of interruptions per subscriber was 5 hours, highest since 1998, although far below the 14 hours average for LAC, while the average number of interruptions per subscriber per year was 7, highest since 1995, but also below the 13 average for LAC. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Distribution and transmission losses. During the 1990s and up to 2005, distribution losses have always been close to 10%, which is below the 13.6% average for the region. Topic: <laughs> Responsibilities in the electricity sector. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Policy and regulation. The VIS Ministry of Electricity and Alternative Energy, within the Ministry of Petroleum and Energy, is in charge of establishing policies and designing the regulation for the electricity sector. The Superintendencia de Electricidad is responsible for applying the regulation. The companies that belong to the National Interconnected System must be vertically unbundled. However, the companies in the off-grid system the Ashlado, are allowed to perform more than one of the activities defined in the electricity industry i.e. generation, transmission, distribution. <laughs> <laughs> generation Currently, there are eight generation companies in the interconnected system, all of them privately owned. The three largest companies alone represent 70% of the total generation. The largest company serving the SIN is the Compañía Boliviana de Energía Eléctrica which serves the region surrounding La Paz. The other two are Impresa Eléctrica Guarachi and Impresa Eléctrica Carani Transmission. Currently, there are three transmission companies which operate the High Voltage Interconnecting Trunk System STI, the backbone of the SIN. INDA Corporation, ESA Bolivia, which was created in 2005, and San Cristobal Tessa. The state-owned INDA incorporates Transportadora de Electricidad TDE, which was owned by Spain's Red Electrica de España RE. As of 2013, its transmission network extended 2,850 kilometers, representing 79% of the national total. ESA Bolivia, which runs 587 kilometers, or 16%, of the transmission network in Bolivia, is a subsidiary of Interconnection Electrica S.A. ESA, a corporation controlled by the Government of Colombia. San Cristobal Tessa has 172 kilometers of transmission lines, or 5%. The number of companies is limited due to the existence of institutional entry barriers in this sector. Topic. Distribution In Bolivia, the six existing distribution companies enjoy a geographic monopoly in their concession areas. The largest company is Electropaz, majority owned by Spain's Iberdrola, followed by Impresa de Luz y Fuerza Eléctrica Cochabamba ELFEC, which was owned by the American PPL Global until 2007. The third place is occupied by the Rural Electrification Cooperative CRE, which operates in the Department of Santa Cruz, in some cases, especially in the High Plateau, cooperatives and community organizations access the distribution company's network and sell electricity to small rural communities. 
Sometimes, those are organized enterprises that provide the service to middle-sized towns, but in most cases, they are small organizations that serve family communities. This situation faces a legal vacuum since the consumers benefiting from these schemes, who do not consume the minimum power established legally established, cannot be considered as regulated ones. In addition, these consumers are localized outside the distribution company's concession areas, so they cannot receive the company's service. In practice, the distribution companies are reselling electricity to the mentioned organizations outside the legal framework. Accurate information on the number of organizations that operate in rural areas does not exist. However, there are approximately three in La Paz, 20 in Oruro and three in Potosi. Topic. Operators in the off-grid system The departments of Beni, Pondo and Tarija and the eastern region of Santa Cruz are not integrated in the SIN. As a result, there are vertically integrated operators that provide the service. The most important operators are Sitar Servicios Electricos Tarija, SA, 44 MW, serves 56,885 clients Inda Impresa Nacional de Electricidad, 16.65 MW, serves 28,554 clients CRE Cooperativa Regional de Electricidad, 14.53 MW, serves 4,940 clients Topic. Renewable energy resources Renewable energy resources other than hydropower are barely exploited in Bolivia, and their contribution to electricity generation is insignificant. However, the potential of decentralized electricity systems i.e. solar photovoltaics or PV, wind, etc. for dispersed populations was recognized by the government in the Rural Electrification Plan This component established that the service to households, schools and health facilities in areas of low population density would rely on locally available renewable energy sources. Topic. Hydropower Bolivia has a considerable hydro potential, its technically feasible potential being assessed at 126 terawatt hours per year, of which 50 terawatt hours per year is considered to be economically exploitable. Only a small proportion of the total potential has been harnessed so far. The share of hydropower capacity in Bolivia is 40%, which is below the 51% average for the region. Installed hydroelectric capacity in 2016 was 494 megawatts, distributed amongst some 21 facilities. The largest plant is the 93 megawatts St. Isabel, operated by Karani. Bolivia is working with Brazil on a huge joint project to exploit the hydroelectric potential of the Rio Madeira complex in the Amazon region. Within this project are the 800 MW Cachuela Esperanza plant sited entirely in Bolivia and the Guajara Miram plant 3000 to be located on the border between the two countries. Topic: Solar The World Bank is financing a rural infrastructure project in Bolivia which, among others, plans to install 17,000 solar home systems by 2009. Another project funded by the Global Partnership on Out-Based Aid which is administered by the World Bank intends to scale up the installations by an additional 7,000 in the next three years. See external assistance below. In the mid-2010s, ENDA began building and operating large-scale solar power plants including the following A 5.1 MW solar photovoltaic plant in Cobija, Pondo, providing power to Cobija, Porvenir, Philadelphia, Bella Flor, Puerto Rico, and Chive. The project was funded 47% by ENDA and 53% by the Danish Official Aid Agency. The Yunchara Solar Photovoltaic Plant in Yunchara, Tarija, which opened as a 5 MW plant in July 2017. A second phase would produce an additional 50 MW. 
the Uyuni Solar Photovoltaic Plant in Uyuni, Potosi, scheduled to open as a 50 MW plant in March 2017. Topic: History of the electricity sector. Topic: Early history. The National Interconnected System was created in 1965 and continued its expansion during the 70s and 80s. Topic. Unbundling and privatization Until 1994, the vertically integrated public utility, INDA Impresa Nacional de Electricidad dominated the sector. In 1994, Bolivia initiated an infrastructure reform program that included the privatization of the major state-owned enterprises. The Electricity Law 1994-1604 mandated the privatization of the electricity system and the unbundling of generation, transmission and distribution activities. The law aimed to increase efficiency in the sector, promote competition and encourage investment. As a result of privatization, three generation companies were created: Karani, Guaracachi and Vale Hermoso. Each of them received a part of ENDE's generation activities. The law limited the market share of each to 35%. Initially, these firms were granted exclusive rights, but by 1999 entry was liberalized and some other small companies entered the market. In regards to transmission, network operation was transferred from ENDA to Transportadora de Electricidad, a private company, which acquired exclusive rights. Finally, several distribution firms were created after the reform. All those firms operate under tariff regulation and are subject to tariff controls. CRE Cooperative for Rural Electrification, a pre-existing distribution cooperative, maintained its position as an independent regional monopoly. CESSA Compañía Eléctrica de Sucre SA and SEPSA Servicios Eléctricos Potosí SA, two pre-existing municipal distribution firms also maintained their monopolies while ELFEC Empresa Luz y Fuerza Eléctrica Cochabamba, which was a municipal company previously to privatization, started to operate as a private firm. Lastly, the private CABI Compañía Boliviana de Energía Eléctrica, which operated both in generation and distribution, gave rise, after its divestiture, to Electropaz in La Paz and ELFEO Impresa Luz y Fuerza Eléctrica Ororo in Ororo. All these reforms, together with the introduction of a load dispatch coordination office, shaped a wholesale electricity market that seeks to simulate competitive conditions. Topic. Rural electrification efforts In 2002, the government established Bolivia's Rural Electrification Plan with the objective of contributing to the socio-economic development of rural areas through access to electricity and its efficient and productive uses. The short-term goal of the program was to make 200,000 new connections within five years increasing electricity access in rural areas from 23% to 45%. It had been estimated that, by the end of the program, PLABER would have reached its goals by 70% of the initial objective. However, the model established by this program did not have significant effects in increasing coverage, expanding infrastructure and improving service quality in rural and isolated areas. A new rural electrification decree was approved in 2005, Supreme Decree number 28567. This new decree aims at increasing rural access through the extension and densification of electric networks, development of renewable energy and a change in the energy mix substitution of diesel by natural gas, biomass and other renewable energies and an increase in distribution capacity. The Rural Electrification Decree and its associated regulatory framework encourages stakeholders in the energy sector to establish partnerships with other government agencies to implement the Rural Electrification Plan. 
an agreement between the Ministry of Public Works, Services and Housing and the Ministry of Education will allow for the installation of solar PV systems in rural areas in conjunction with the literacy program. I can, yo, see si Puedo. Under the pilot phase, 500 solar panels are expected to be installed. Topic. Recent developments In 2006, under President Evo Morales, a new law for universal access to electricity Ley de Acceso Universal was proposed. Under the framework of this law, the program called Electricity for a Decent Living has been designed to improve both rural and urban electrification. The short-term goal 2006 to 2010 of the program is to increase rural electrification to 53%, connection of 210,000 new households and urban electrification to 97%, connection of 460,000 new households. The medium-term goal 2010 to 2015 is to achieve universal access in urban areas and a 70% access in rural ones. In the final stages, rural access would have increased to 87% by 2020 and universal coverage would be reached by 2025. The law also mandates the creation of a common fund for universal access to public electricity service FOCO, and creates a co-financing mechanism of the national government with prefectures, municipalities and the private sector. However, the law has not been approved yet, although it is expected that the law and the mechanisms it creates will be approved soon. Topic. Tariffs, cost recovery and subsidies Topic. Tariffs Electricity tariffs in Bolivia are far lower than average tariffs in Latin America. The average residential tariff in 2006 was $0.0614 per kWh compared to $0.115 per kWh weighted average in LAC, while the average tariff for the industry was $0.044 per kWh compared to $0.107 per kWh weighted average in LAC. Electricity prices charged by the distribution companies to their regulated clients include energy costs including generation and transmission costs and all the distribution costs, including a specific return on investment. However, as it was mentioned before, some distribution companies resell electricity to communal organizations or rural enterprises. The price and conditions of those transactions are not regulated, which causes an important legal void in the sector. Topic. Subsidies. In March 2006, the Bolivian government approved Tarifa Dignidad Dignity Tariff by Supreme Decree 28653. This tariff grants a 25% discount in their electricity bills to those consumers whose monthly consumption is below 70 kWh in the urban areas and 30 kWh in the rural ones. This subsidy, which will be covered for four years by the electricity companies that operate in Bolivia, will benefit about 480,000 households. Topic. Investment and financing In the years following the privatization of 1994, investment grew considerably due to the obligations imposed on the privatized companies. Public investment remained constant, mainly directed to rural electrification, while private investment was mainly devoted to generation. In the period 1995 to 2004, total investment in transmission represented only a modest 2%, $14 million of the total investment in the electricity sector. Generation and distribution received 58% and 40% of total investment respectively. For the year 2004 in particular, total public investment in the electricity sector was around $20 million which was matched by another $20 million from private sources. 
Those two figures add up to less than 0.5% of Bolivia's GDP in 2004. Distribution companies acquire investment commitments for each tariff period. For the period 2003 to 2005, total investment by the main distribution companies was $39.7 million. This was divided as follows. CRE $17.5 million, 22% below initially approved amount. ELFEC $10.2 million, 5% below initially approved amount. Electropaz $10.4 million, 11% below initially approved amount. Elfio $1.53 million, 3% below initially approved amount. Topic. Summary of private participation in the electricity sector The Electricity Law 1994–1604 mandated the privatization of the electricity system and the unbundling of generation, transmission and distribution activities, which had all been in the hands of INDA Impresa Nacional de Electricidad the vertically integrated public utility. Three of the eight generation companies in the interconnected system represent 70% of total generation, with Kabi Compañía Boliviana de Energía Eléctrica being the most important. Transmission in the national interconnected system is in the hands of just two companies as entry in this sector is institutionally restricted. As for distribution, the six existing companies enjoy a geographic monopoly in their concession areas. The largest company is Electropaz, which is majority owned by Spain's Iberdrola. In May 2010 President Evo Morales nationalized 80% of Bolivian generation by capacity, in his government's attempt to regain ownership of public service companies. Karani, Guarachi, and Vale Hermoso, were expropriated from their former British and French owners. In the same fashion, in May 2012 the transmission company Transmisora de Electricidad S.A., from Spanish capitals, was similarly expropriated. Asterisk 53% of the transmission network is operated by ESA Bolivia, a subsidiary of ESA Colombia, which is controlled by the Colombian government. Topic. Electricity and the environment Topic. Responsibility for the environment The VIS Ministry of Land Planning and Environment, within the Planning and Development Ministry, holds the environmental responsibilities in Bolivia. Topic. Greenhouse gas emissions OLAID Organización Latinoamericana de Energía estimated that CO2 emissions from electricity production in 2003 were 1.73 million tons of CO2, which represents 22% of total emissions for the energy sector. Topic: CDM projects in electricity. Currently, there are just two CDM registered projects in Bolivia, one of them in the electricity sector. That is the Rio Takasi Hydroelectric Power Project, in the province of Sud Yungas, with an effective capacity of 89.5 MW and estimated emission reductions of 141,691 metric tons CO2e per annum. Topic. External assistance External assistance to the electricity sector in Bolivia is heavily focused on rural electrification with no funding for large-scale generation, which has been fully privatized. Topic. World Bank Currently, the World Bank is involved in two projects in the energy sector in Bolivia. A project to assist the implementation of decentralized infrastructure for rural transformation financed by a $20 million IDA credit and approved in June 2003. The project aims at improving the delivery of infrastructure services. 
Its first objective is the development of effective strategies to improve and accelerate electricity access, with a focus on renewable sources. The Decentralized Electricity for Universal Access project, funded by the Global Partnership on Output-Based Aid, which is administered by the World Bank, plans to extend electricity access to at least 7,000 poor households, micro-enterprises and social uses in remote and dispersed rural areas benefiting some 50,000 Bolivian citizens in these areas through the installation of Solar Home Systems SHS. This is expected to be achieved through a public-private partnership under the government's new universal access policy. Topic. IDB The Inter-American Development Bank provides technical assistance through three projects in the energy sector in Bolivia. A technical cooperation project directed at the support for the Bolivian Rural Electrification Program, approved in 2004 with $100,000 funding. The project aimed to develop a master plan for natural gas projects and key investment projects to optimize the network. A technical cooperation project approved in 2004 aimed at developing an rural electrification master plan received $149,800 in funds from the IADB. The IDB also approved a funding of $138,900 in 2005 for a project to stimulate the development of CDM projects development of CDM projects. Topic. CAF In 2005 and 2007, the Corporación Andina de Fomento CAF assigned $32 million and $15 million respectively to the increase of electricity services coverage through the construction of two transmission lines. The first one is the 115 kV Caranavi La Paz Trinidad Beni line, which has 374 km. The second one is the 230 kV Carrasco and Santibanez line, with 225 km. Others The German Agency for International Cooperation GIZ, and the VIS Ministry of Electricity and Alternative Energy recently signed an agreement to execute a project for network densification in rural areas. Distribution cooperatives will also play an important role in this project, which is part of the program Electricity to Live with Dignity. To facilitate the access to electricity, the VIS Ministry and GIZ will provide a $20 subsidy per household to enable their connection to the existing network. The German development bank KFW is also financing a 5 million euro project to improve rural access to electricity in 2005 to 8. The project involves the construction of six micro hydroelectric plants and the completion of studies for another 11. Topic sources Barra, G. and Urquiola, M. 2003. Capitalization and Privatization in Bolivia. An Approximation to an Evaluation UDAPE, 2004. Sector Electrico, 2000-2004. See also Bolivia Water supply and sanitation in Bolivia Topic Notes Topic External Links Vice Ministry of Electricity and Alternative Energy Superintendencia de Electricidad SE Planning and Development Ministry Compañía Boliviana de Energía Eléctrica Empresa Eléctrica Carani S.A. Interconnection Eléctrica S.A. ESA Electropaz Empresa Luz y Fuerza Eléctrica Cocabamba ELFEC Cooperativa de Electrificación Rural CRE World Bank Projects in Bolivia Inter-American Development Bank Projects in Bolivia